Francis Kirk Jean has another masterpiece right here. Loam a la Rose is a fantastic fragrance. Guys, welcome back. My name is Kevin Samuels. My name is Kevin Samuels of Godfather of Style. And guys, in today's video, we talk about one of my favorite fragrance houses, based on Francis Kirk Jean and his new creation, Loam a la Rose. If you know anything about me, I love rose, amber, and oud. And when I find a good rose fragrance, it is something I am going to crow about. And this is probably gonna be one of the best warm weather rose fragrances ever created. The mastery behind this is simple. Grapefruit in the top notes, two different kinds of roses, lobdenum, and clary sage in the base. Guys, this is <laughs> incredible. I got my hands on this luckily a little bit early and I've been testing it out for the last two weeks. It's due to hit the shelves in the next week or so and I have to tell you, Guys, you will want to check this one out for sure. As soon as I saw it in the store, I grabbed it and said I wanted to buy it. I blind bought it. There wasn't a test out there. And for good reason, they were not supposed to be selling it. I sprayed it on my hand. I let other people smell it. Other people in the store smelled it. I gave the sales reps a little bit to put in little jars themselves so they could actually remember what it smelled like and could tell other people. But it was smelling so good that even sales reps was like, I gotta get that, I gotta get that for myself. And two women came in and I recommended this for their guy friend and both of them bought it. It is that good. It's so good is the top note of grapefruit. That sparkling grapefruit comes through and that makes this an actual nice, warm, photorealistic kind of rose with that lobdenum and that clary sage at the base really anchor it down and give this thing some longevity. Let's get into the C3PO system. Compliment factor on my skin, super. This is a great compliment fragrance, but even better, it is a conversation starting fragrance. That freshness in the top note mixed with that sweetness in the dry, with the sweetness in the mid and that earthiness in the dry down makes women kind of come up and say, what are you wearing? I'm rocking and wearing this. Performance a solid six to eight hours plus. This thing really goes a long time on my skin and it projects about two to three feet and it keeps pushing for about two to three hours. The sillage is where I love this. The flavor trail on this thing is two to three feet and it continues to go for a long time. The style personality, I can see pulling this off. Guys, this is definitely gonna be one of those kind of all American, even the boss fragrance. This stuff is occasion, signature scent worthy. It could be worn any season, any reason, any climate, t-shirt to tuxedo, and, it was, and that is saying something, guys. That is what's really hard to do. Find a rose that's masculine, that's signature scent worthy, that can be worn in any climate, dressed up or dressed down. Thank you, Francis Kirk John, for giving us this masterpiece. So do me a favor. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know if you smell Lom a la Rose. Did you like it? If so, cool. If not, cool. But keep it cool. Keep it classy. Go over to my local Neiman Marcus or Saks and check out my friends down in the description and tell them your Godfather sent you. Until the next time, Godfather is out.